Good morning. I'm Joe Vavark for JC Traffic with this morning traffic update. Let's start right off with 202. We have delays on 202 southbound in the area of Cedar Hollow Road where all lanes are closed for an accident. The accident happened about 25 minutes ago and currently all lanes have been shut down as an ambulance has arrived and a tow truck has yet to arrive at the scene. Additionally, one lane has been closed northbound with the left lane being the lane closed. Both directions are experiencing major delays at this time. Delays on the southbound side go all the way back to Chesterbrook Boulevard. This is currently a 3 mile, 15 to 20 minute delay and growing. It is starting to approach 25 to 25 minutes. On the northbound side there is currently a 2 mile, 10 to 15 minute delay as well. That goes back to near Church Road. If you're traveling on the Schuylkill Expressway this morning, we do have delays inbound at the area of I-476 through Gladwin. This is a five mile delay. And then we have significant delays outbound in the area of the Roosevelt Expressway continuing on through to I-476 North. This is currently a 10 mile delay, but delay time is only 10 to 15 minutes through this area. If you're traveling further on inbound I-76, we do have delays approaching Montgomery that continue through to I-676. This is currently a four mile delay, only five minutes additional time through this area. If you're traveling on I-95 south this morning, we do have delays approaching the Betsy Ross Bridge that continue through to I-676. This is currently a five mile delay. Your average trip time through this area is 10 to 15 minutes. We have other things going on this morning as well downtown. We do have some minor delays on I-676 East from just east of I-95 over through to Broad Street. This is about a two to three minute delay. We also have an accident in Harrisburg right now on I-83 in the area of Union Deposit Road. One lane is blocked at this time. Okay, the accident is now clear in this area. All lanes are now open. However, an area of congestion remains. Here is your congestion back at exit 45. The delay goes back to exit 44A. So it is approximately a one mile delay. Stay alert for slower stop traffic in this area. We also have some minor delays on the turnpike still continuing from the morning rush hour that start at approaching Willow Grove that continue through Mid County. It's just really a couple pockets of slow traffic. Other than that, you're pretty much good to go in this area now. If you're traveling in the Lehigh Valley, so far we do not have much in the way of incidents to report this morning. Everything is looking good up in this area. We do have some midday road work in the area of I-78 westbound at exit 49A but no lanes are closed at this time. We also have road work on I-78 in the area of 737. I do believe no lanes are closed at this time. Now let's go take a look at New Jersey. In New Jersey we have an accident with injuries on US-22 eastbound approaching West End Ave in North Plainfield. The left lane is blocked. We have a water main break on New Jersey westbound approaching Meadowlands Parkway in Seaucus. Right lane and shoulder closed for repairs. We have heavy traffic on I-676 northbound exiting at exit 5B Linden Street dash North 8th Street in Candom. Delays are due to volume. Let's take a look at the area of the Ben Franklin Bridge. Here is the approach to the Ben Franklin Bridge. As you see we have no delays at this time to go over to Ben Franklin Bridge. We have delays on the Lincoln Tunnel eastbound approaching New Jersey side toll plaza in Wiener Hawken Township 20 to 25 minute delays. We have delays at the Holland Tunnel approaching New Jersey side toll plaza in New Jersey City 20 minute delays and we can take a look at this. As you can see here on the left we do have significant delays in this area. Traffic has come to a stop at this time. If you're traveling on the George Washington Bridge we do have 20 to 25 minute delays this morning due to volume. As for road work in New Jersey, 
We have road work on US 1 and 9 northbound in the area of Lawrence Street in Rothaway. Right lane is closed. We also have road work on the New Jersey Turnpike northbound in the vicinity of Interchange 4. The right lane is closed until 2.30 p.m. However, this is not causing a delay at this time. We have road work on New Jersey 55 northbound north of exit 24, New Jersey 49 in Millers, Millville. Right lane closed until 2.30 p.m. That is all we have in New Jersey. A reminder, Sports Express trains will be running along the Broad Street subway tonight starting at 6 p.m. Continuing through 7.30 p.m. for tonight's Eagles game. If you have the option of taking mass transit, please do so. The Eagles game combined with rush hour will cause significant delays out there. I-76, I-476, and I-95 will be severely impacted. I-95 will significantly back up exiting at Broad Street in the northbound direction. Traffic will back potentially all the way back towards the Blue Route, which could cause delays up to 35 to 40 minutes this evening. Please plan ahead and expect delays. That is all we have for now. We will have another update early this afternoon or this evening for the evening rush hour when necessary. Thank you. This is Joe Vodvarka for JST Traffic.